Hello everyone. In last video I've explained how roll the damage is calculated. In this video I'm going to talk about armor and we're going to see how that roll damage is affecting the enemy unit based on their armor and armor resistance. So again if you check our pirating tips combat 101 we can read down here resistance stated in the armor entry modify the roll damage by their percent. Final damage is reduced by the armor value and applied to the health. Ok, let's see in practice how the weapons work against armor. So here I have my gal and she's holding a home front rifle and a vibro blade. And over here I have a ninja warrior, which if I use my middle mouse button to check uh, the ninja warrior examination, and I can access this because I have already researched this, I can see the armor value of this unit here for each side of the armor, and below that I can see the resistance of the armor. So before the attack is actually applied versus the armor value of the unit, there are some modifications that are done. Firstly, the rolled damage of the weapon is multiplied by the percentage of the resistance we can see here. So if you check our vibroblade, it does cutting damage and the ninja warrior has a cutting resistance which is 80%. It means that whatever is rolled damage, it would be multiplied by 80%. So if I press Alt here, I can see the damage spread is between 35 and 106. So if we rolled 35, which would be very unfortunate, and we multiply that by 80%, we would get 28. Now in the case we had a very lucky roll and the roll damage is 106, once we multiply that by 80%, we would get 84.5. So I'm just going to say that's 84. And before we can actually apply that uh, damage to the armor of this unit, there's another thing we need to check. Again, if we check our vibroblade and click on analyze, we can see armor effectiveness here, which is 80%. So now armor effectiveness is something that we would multiply the armor value before we apply the roll damage that was modified by the armor resistance. That means that we would multiply 30 with 0 0.8, which is 80%, because that's the effectiveness of the armor, we would get 24. So in the worst case scenario, our damage was 28, and the armor value that that damage is applied against after being modified by the armor effectiveness is 24. It means that our damage is by 4 points higher than the modified armor value and 4 points would be subtracted from health of this unit. Now in the very lucky case where we rolled 106, after multiplying that by the armor resistance we got 84. And we know that uh, after we multiply the armor value with armor effectiveness, we get 24. 84 minus 24 would be 60. And 60 would be the damage applied against the health of this unit. And if I use my mind probe to check the health of this unit, I can see that Ninja Warrior have 75 health. So in first case, when we did 4 damage, the Ninja Warrior after that attack would have 71 health. And in the second case, when we had our lucky critical damage roll, the ninja warrior would be left with only 15 health. Either way, this attack is not enough to kill this ninja warrior. So in short, armor resistance modifies roll the damage by the percentage stated in the description of the armor, while armor value is modified by the armor effectiveness stated in the weapon analytics. So the formula to calculate the damage to health, and when I say damage to health, I actually mean uh, any damage that actually penetrates the armor. So the damage to health can either be uh, damage to HP or stun damage. Damage to health would be rolled damage of the weapon we are using, modified by armor resistance, reduced by armor value, modified by weapon armor effectiveness. Now in the case this is zero, or less than zero, if we have a negative value, there is no damage applied, so it would just be zero. I really hope this is clear, because there is no better way to put it. Now let's do this calculation for our home front rifle. So as we know the spread for the home front rifle would be from zero to 56. If we click on analyze for home front rifle and choose the ammo here, I can see that armor effectiveness is 85%. And if you go back to our Ninja Warrior, the armor is 30, 
times 0 0.85 equals 25.5. So I'm going to mark this as 26. And if I search here and try to find the armor resistance for piercing damage, it's not stated here, which means the resistance is 100% and the damage won't be modified by resistance. So let's take two cases here. The first one is where our home front rifle rolled 28 damage. And the second one is where our home front rifle rolled uh, 56 damage. So in first case, after we modified the Ninja Warrior's armor by the weapon's armor effectiveness, we would get 28 minus 26. So the damage applied to the health of this unit would be only 2. While in the second case, when we rolled 56, the damage applied to the health of Ninja Warrior would be 30. So let's check another unit here. Let's check out this Assault Ninja. So again, Assault Ninja examination tells us the armor values for the Assault Ninja. We can see the armor resistance, which is much different from the previous one. So I specifically took this unit because this unit actually has shield. So it reads here shields. 54 slash 27 purple. So purple is the type of the shield. Uh, shields have no armor values, however they have their own resistance modifiers. So shields work a bit differently than armor. And this 54 means that uh, if the shield is full, shield health is 54. 27 means that each turn this shield recovers 27 points. So in order to actually get to the armor and this modifiers and armor value, first we need to go through the shield. There are four different types of shields and they have different modifiers for different types of damage. Now I'm not gonna go into that. Once you research the shields, you will be able to see in Butipedia exactly what kind of uh, resistance these shields have to different kinds of damage. And there are some damage types that actually go straight through the shield. So once the shield is depleted, our roll damage would actually be modified by the armor resistance and then the armor value would apply like I've explained in the previous case. There are some types of damage that actually ignore armor altogether. Cold, choking, burn are some of the damage types that totally ignore armor. So we would still apply the armor resistance here, but these types of damage totally ignore the armor value. So once you multiply that kind of damage by the armor resistance, you do not subtract the armor value. They straight go to the health of the unit. And that's pretty much it when it comes to calculating the damage. Now the second thing I want to talk about in this video is uh, damage to the armor. So you might have noticed that sometimes when your gulls receive hits, their armor is damaged. Damage to armor is actually divided into armor pre-damage and armor post-damage. Some of the weapons have armor pre-damage modifier. If I check assault laser weapon, click here on analyze, and choose ammo here. I can see here that as most lasers, it ignores one third of the armor. However, there is also armor pre-damage multiplier, which is 2.5%. This armor pre-damage multiplier is used to calculate damage to armor. And the second part of the formula would be the armor post damage, which actually depends on the damage to health, which I just explained how it's calculated. And for most of the weapons, armor post damage would be 10% of the damage to health. If you check this plasma gun and choose ammo here, I can see that plasma gun has a bit higher armor pre-damage multiplier, and this gun has 7.5. And same goes for the reticulant plasma gun. If I check here and choose the ammo, I can see that armor pre-damage multiplier is 7.5%. And this is true for most of the plasma weapons. However, this is true for some of the melee weapons as well. So if you we check out the Holy Club, I can see that armor pre-damage multiplier is 10%. Spiked Mace has armor pre-damage multiplier of 10% as well. Vibro X, uh, 5% and so on. However, the type of damage that causes highest damage to the armor is chemical. So I have a toxic gun here, and if I click here on analyze and choose the ammo, I can see that armor pre-damage multiplier is 12.5%. And if we check our chemical grenade, we can see that armor pre-damage multiplier is 20%. So grenades, well, explosions, 
attack the bottom armor of the units and these are quite effective against uh, tanks because tanks are 2x2 two two units and any kind of explosion would actually attack all 4 tiles so the tank would take 4 times the damage to the bottom armor. Again, let's check out our Toxigun. So as we said, the armor pre-damage multiplier is 12.5% and armor effectiveness is 150%. So let's say we attack our ninja warrior and if we look here at the armor resistance, there's no armor resistance modifier for chemical damage. Let's say we roll 80 for the Toxigun damage. First we would calculate damage to health, so 80 minus 30 times 150% is 35, so the damage to health is 35. Now the armor post damage would be 10% of the damage to health, which is 35 times 0.1, that's 3.5, so this would actually be rounded up to 4. However, the armor pre-damage would be 12.5% of the rolled damage multiplied by armor resistance, so in this case that's 10. So in total that's 14, so this unit would actually lose 14 points of their armor value and after the attack, instead of 30, the armor value would be 16. Now in the case we actually rolled 40 instead of 80, we wouldn't be able to penetrate the armor, there would be no post damage to the armor, because after we apply the armor effectiveness, the unit would have 45 points of armor that the attack needs to go through. However, we would still have the armor pre-damage, so 40 times 100% because there's no armor resistance modifier and times 12.5, which is armor pre-damage multiplier, equals 5. So even though in this attack we didn't do any kind of damage to this unit's health, we were still able to damage their armor by 5 points. So the new armor value for this unit would be 25. And all other attacks that are attacking the same uh, side of the armor would be calculated based on the value of 25, so based on the value of the current armor. So all of these weapons that have the armor pre-damage multiplier are actually useful for damaging armor of heavy armored units and over time, with repeated attacks, you will definitely be able to penetrate their armor. If you have any doubts uh, about what I've explained in this video, you can ask in comments and I'll give you the answer there. Thank you for watching the video, if you find this content useful and engaging, click on the like button and you can subscribe to my channel. Take care, goodbye.